Hello everyone, uh, Ian in London here again and today I thought I might talk about how to crash or lose your drone. Um, we spend up to a grand, over a grand on these toys and uh, they're all too easy to crash. So um, what is the quickest way to uh, require the services of DJI service? Well, um, let's have a look, shall we? So first starters, uh, a reminder about the gimbal. It's normally the first thing to break when you crash. It's exposed, it's very delicate, and um, it's perfectly positioned to hit that tree trunk or whatever it is that, uh, that you're crashing into. You can get small gimbal guards or um, a sun visor shields off eBay for about a tenner. Uh, little black things that don't restrict the actual movement of the gimbal. Um, I always fly with one and um, it does protect the gimbal if you do crash. First off, um, one of the main mistakes people make is unboxing their happy new toy inside and thinking, uh, okay, I'll take a test flight inside where it's nice and safe away from uh, all danger. But actually that's one of the worst things you can do. Flying inside is one of the quickest ways to actually uh, crash. There's no GPS signal. Uh, if there is coming through the window, it's pretty patchy. If you've got plain floors, the downward uh, vision sensors can't lock onto any pattern. And all that's gonna happen is your drone is going to drift. And the moment it hits the wall, you'll know about it. So outside, one of the very best ways to um, lose control is to not be used to flying your drone when it's not actually facing away from you. When it's facing away from you, as you go forward, it goes forwards. And when you come back, it comes back left and right. Trouble is when you turn it around and it's coming back towards you, unfortunately then the, con the controls start getting a little bit confusing and uh, you'll see that suddenly left is actually right and right is left. Now it sounds straight enough, but when you're actually um, trying to bring it home through um, a narrow gap or some trees and you start to panic, it's very easy to get that the wrong way around and uh, really practice is the only way you can get, uh, get used to that. So another quick way to crash is to be flying backwards in general. Um, you've got no collision sensors and no camera view. You can't see where you're going and it's the quickest way to hit a tree or a power line or a building. And uh, whilst we're on the subject of trees, um, they're fantastic. They really are your best bet if you want to crash. Your little um, anti-collision uh, sensors will not see the twigs but your props will and um, even better if you're lucky your Mavic will get uh, snagged up in one of the branches and uh, you won't be able to get it down unless you uh, throw a rock at it or something. Uh, power lines also fall into exactly that same category as well. They're even worse, you're not going to see them through your camera, uh, the sensors aren't going to see them either and uh, you really don't want to be hitting them. Uh, remember over gorges and rivers they can be well over 100 foot high so um, keep an eye out for power lines as well. Uh, next up flying very far beyond visual line of sight. Very hard to keep control of your drone uh, if you don't know its orientation. Um, you're only going to get a very narrow uh, forward of view, uh, field of view rather from uh, the camera. It's very easy to misjudge distance and height. Uh, video disconnections do happen. They're quite common. And if you can't see where you're going, uh, what are you going to do about it? Um, what you also got to remember is that occasionally you are going to slip into ATI mode if the GPS uh, lock fails. Uh, to be clear, if you ever see ATI mode on your remote, your drone is going to be drifting with the wind and uh, you have got to be able to uh, know exactly where it is and which orientation it is facing in order for you to control it. So you can combine a lot of what I've already said and um, kind of cover it by not flying too low. Um, you don't want to go too high. At the same time, you've got to think most trees, buildings and the like, you know, if you're flying at about 150 feet, 50 metres, that's going to keep you well clear of most trouble. And of course, um, speaking of height, your return to home altitude is very important. Uh, that is the altitude that your drone will come back to you if it loses signal with your, um, your controller. And obviously it needs to be higher than anything you're flying around. Um, and a real good way of losing signal is to try and fly around tall buildings or, or hills or anything like that. If you can't see your Mavic, it can't talk to your controller and uh, loss of signal and an automatic return to home is very likely. So if you don't have the return to home altitude high enough, um, it's just going to crash straight into whatever it is you're flying around. So another good way to go wrong and get the old adrenaline going is to push your battery to the limit as well. Flying out downwind and suddenly realising your little Mavic is struggling to return into the wind will certainly get the old panic going. And of course that happened to me over Dover. 
Really your best bet is to get a couple of spare batteries and that way you're not going to be tempted to push your luck. So on batteries it's a good idea to know exactly what's happening um, as your battery runs down as well. Uh, when you hit low battery that normally means time to come home. If you hit critical battery it means the Mavic is going to land wherever it is. If it happens to be coming back over water, tough luck. It's just going to land and it will sink. And speaking of water, uh, flying under bridges or through bridges is another great way to uh, crash and lose. Um, very difficult to judge the distance right. You think you've got through, you rise up, it's going to hit the top of the bridge and it'll suddenly stop and fall down into the water. So uh, be careful if you're going to try that shot going through a bridge. Another thing to keep in mind when you're outside is being distracted by your mates or people just coming up in general talking to you. When you're flying, your eyes need to be focused on this. And uh, if they're not, if you're talking to your mate, then you're not going to keep an eye on what's happening and you will lose your drone into a tree or something. So if you do need to talk, um, then you have got a pause button. Use it. It'll stop. Just let go of the controls. It'll stop. Either way, don't be trying to fly whilst you're chatting to somebody else. Flying in woods or forests is not always a great idea either. Uh, if you're flying below the tree line, obviously you've got to keep an eye on uh, not hitting any of the tree trunks and um, GPS can be very patchy. It can drop out and relock, and suddenly you'll find your drone drifting suddenly straight into a tree trunk. Uh, also, if you uh, are running down on the battery, the old return to home and the out, uh, return to home altitude can kick in and you'll suddenly find your drone uh, rising up straight into the branches above you. Um, you have actually got a mode on the Mavic called tripod mode. If you really do need to do some shooting inside the woods, uh, use tripod mode. It's a really useful mode, slows everything right down and um, makes it very easy to control in very tight uh, spaces. So there you go. I've tried to outline some of the easier ways to crash or lose your nice new shiny toy. Uh, some of those mistakes I've made myself, others I've just read about online or uh, had friends uh, tell me what they've managed to get up to. Common factor is uh, panic. Panic makes you do really stupid things and in uh, worst uh, scenario it'll actually make you override some of the automatic features that DJI program into their app to try and protect you and save you from yourself. Don't panic, uh, keep focused on where your drone is, don't get distracted, uh, don't push your luck, don't push your batteries, and uh, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, not much else. So if you can think of any other ways to uh, crash and, and lose, uh, lose your toy, then uh, do let me know, comment down below. If you like these videos, as you know, I pump these out probably once a month, so it's not like you're overloaded. Uh, click the subscribe button, and um, as ever, have fun and happy flying.